Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK Journey video. In this video, we finally got the update from the devs and we got really good rewards and a good event. It's a long time event, which is really good. It's the fishing event and we'll be talking about that in the next video. I think I will talk about the fishing a little bit now and I will talk about the new update later. I uh, went and I did just like Vulcan did on the Vietnamese server. It's kind of a test server that gets an event or gets up the things before we get it on our global and I'll be talking about everything else. Now, first of all, you're going to go to your mail and check what you've got. Let me check here. So in the mail, we've got uh, a compensation. First of all, we got the update 600 diamonds and then we got a little bit of our dust that they gave us because they had just did the growth that you're gonna go and receive the dust throughout afk stages and everything else and we got compensation of uh, some acorns uh some uh, uh origami hamster which is the one that you upgrade the intimacy level with other characters we got a copy of Saren and a copy of almas and we got 140 uh, or 120 stones with the a level soul stones that you can upgrade or uh, pop them and get characters and we got 1500 diamonds which is absolutely fantastic this is absolutely great now the other thing that we got is actually if you're gonna go and check our events here we got this event so i popped from atalanta until uh floraville so i got atalanta i got oh, one copy of talin brian ludovic elsa uh, Friesto and Florable and then we're gonna get uh, two more which is I have still a Brutus and I still have uh, Thorin to get here yeah believe it or not Thorin I still didn't uh, drop for me which is absolutely nice now of course we got the fishing event the fishing event is super easy you're gonna go log in a day fish for one uh, one fish get one fish and catch silver or above one which you it is guaranteed every day and this is going for 40 days as you see here and of course we have special tasks the special special tasks are, are catch a rare fish uh, goldfish some quantity and you'll do this over time and you're gonna get a little bit of rewards some gold gold is really important some people don't understand how much gold is important some other players are having problem with getting gold it's it's a good fix actually to have a little bit of gold we're gonna get some intimacy origami hamster so that we can level up some characters and if you catch 10 fish we're gonna get a little bit of diamonds which is really good actually in my opinion it's i know that the rewards might seem lackluster but it's really actually good to add this and they will have a lot of events and other things coming up in the future the more the events the merrier actually uh path of growth we finished this reputation we finished it and yeah we still have this one you're gonna collect all of these uh, by 135 days and we're gonna get all the characters that we need uh do we see the characters that's still available okay they show us everything else so the only characters that i didn't obtain yet is uh uh, uh thorin and uh <laughs> brutus for some reason i don't know why thorin is not the one for me to get i was wishing for it on top of the fishing you're gonna get quests or random normal quests from your no regular quests with catching three fish more than three fish and stuff like that you're gonna get all of these now of course how do you go and fish you're gonna see them on the map so on holy stone or on the map the normal map that basic map that we have you're gonna go and scroll like this and you're gonna see like ponds like as you see here there's a fish here that you can catch these kind of fish so i did catch uh, uh, some of them here and here you can uh, catch these kind of fish so there's locations for every single fish that you can go and pick them up from here or from here that you can see them uh, up to there so i have five out of five in this fishing spot these fishing spots i have 10 out of 10 this one i have zero out of five and this one you have 10 out of 10 so depending on what area you're gonna go and fish you have special uh, times and encounters try not to mess it up try to catch every fish because if you couldn't catch it or if it removed or got or you got lag in the middle of it it will count as you didn't fish it and it will destroy your count for that so try to go and fish in all of these areas now this area i know that this sounds like oh my god i need to do something else now in the game but you asked for more interactive things and this fishing one is really simple and really easy now i don't know if you have other uh, on this map let me check of this map if we have other fishing ponds i think we should be having and all of that or it's only on the first map so in the seasonal map if there's fishing related to the seasonal that will be also good actually so let's let me check here's a pond there's no fish no fish no fish so yeah it's only on the first map which is really good i think in my opinion it's really good to have it um it's another another good event actually which will reward you a lot of rewards not only rewards related to the event but also in your quest log if you catch so much fish rare or whatever kind it is you will get a lot of fish from here now of course 
there's the golden ones which you see here and it's five out of five i think it's the more rarer kind of fish if you're gonna go and uh, check for them and these ones that have 10 out of 10 i think it's the less rare but it doesn't tell you that you will not gonna catch these now of course if you're gonna go and check your fishing logs so uh let's go to a place that there's fishing oh there's a chest here i didn't know that they updated keep a, keep looking for these stuff sometimes it pops off i did collect everything 100 progress but sometimes it shows you that there's things and just like that you can go and do them and get a little bit of rewards or something like this another puzzle so let's go to somewhere that has a waystone beside it so i can jump immediately and go start fishing so where is the nearest one uh, okay this one is really good so let's jump and i will show you how the catalog looks actually and the stages became easier i don't know why for some reason the stages became easier i'm finishing every time i do a rotation or change up my team i get uh, a little bit more and i go and uh, grab uh, more so uh, you are currently fishing you want to quit anyway what but i didn't want to quit did i lose one attempt how many attempts do I have? Oh, the lag. Okay, 10 out of 10. So you wait for the fish and whenever it's strap on, you just click it and you need to keep it inside the circle and then you, you're gonna yank it after three seconds or five seconds when it tells you. And here we go, we get that and it's auto. And then it will tell you what kind of fish you got. It's a rare one, actually. This is a big fish. Okay, that's good. And now you can click on your fishing catalog and check what kind of fish that you had up there in the top. And as you see, uh, from the golden uh, Wheatshire, I have 10%, which is only this fish. And the others, it will show you what did you catch and how big they are. Now, there's rarer ones from the same kind, and there's uh, the normal uh, common one. So you need to catch them all. And whenever you finish that and you catch everything else, you can... If you get out from here, it doesn't mean your attempts are done. So if you go and try to catch again, and it will show you there's another... Uh, button here to show you what kind of fish you can catch and what did you catch from it so you can go to your event and completely collect it all uh, i think it's a good thing it's something to do uh, in the day because we were all talking about there's nothing to do in the game this fishing event is really nice and i hope they do something related to pvp but not to be power crept and it will be absolutely awesome we also got a new quest related to the story if you're gonna go quest uh, click on the adventure tab and it's lagging a little bit i don't know why you can go and mark it and you can start tracking it and it will show you where to go you're gonna have 10 summons and an outfit or skins that you need for your character now if you click on the three dots on the tab you're gonna see uh lily may uh that she's appearing here in the story quest which means it she will be dropped now of course she's also added in the uh, Vietnamese version or in the CN version uh, uh, I did an account there and it's uh, like the test version on, on AFK Arena that show us the character pre-release and or everything else that we need to know about it because if they had a bug or something wrong when they release it on global it will be absolutely fantastic and I think she would look really nice she's a good looking character uh, many people are speculating for her to be a support. I hope she's a DPS. Her art looks absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait until we have her. I mean, Ludovic is a good character, but it's not the character that I wished for or I wanted to summon for, actually. He's a support uh, that does a little bit of uh, DPS and he goes perfectly with Talene. And as you need Talene, you need to build her, max her out, and you need to max him out for them to work perfectly on your lineup. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. I hope everybody uh, uh, have the luck and get all the rare fish that they can and I'll be seeing you in the next one.